Bhagavad Gita, verse 3.11 May you please the demigods by this sacrifice, and may they please you in turn by granting you your desired benefits. By satisfying one another in this way, you will attain supreme auspiciousness. Sar Ardavashini In this verse, beginning with Devan, Sri Krishna is explaining how sacrifice, Yajna, can grant all that the heart desires. He says, May you please the demigods by this Yajna, and may they please you also. In this context, the word Bhava means Priti, or pleasing. Sar Ardavarshini Prakashikariti In this verse, Bhagavan gives the teaching that to please the demigods, oblations of ghee are to be offered to them. This has a hidden meaning. Bhagavan is not instructing us to give up our devotional service and make sacrificial offerings to worship the demigods, as if they are independent lords. They are not independent. Sri Vishnu empowers qualified living entities, jivas, and gives them the post of protectors of the various directions. He thus maintains the universe through them. In this way, these demigods are like the limbs of Sri Bhagavan. It is said in Srimad Bhagavatam 1.11.26 Bhavo Loka Palanam The arms of Sri Krishna are the shelter of all the administrative demigods of the world. Again, it is said in Srimad Bhagavatam 2.1.29 Indra Dayo Bhava Ahur Ushraha Indra and the other demigods are the arms of the Lord's universal form. Regarding the worship of Indra, it is seen in Srimad Bhagavatam that the residents of Raja used to worship him every year. But once Sri Krishna asked them to worship the Govardhan mountain instead. When Indra's arrogance was crushed, he understood. It was due to pride in my opulence that I considered myself an independent lord. Today you have shown me great mercy by removing my false ego. Now, having realized that I am the servant of the servant of your servants, I surrender unto you. From this context, it is evident that that the demigods who protect the various directions are the limbs of the universal form.